Cumbria TV guide to Kendall. Brought to you by Windermere Lake Cruises and Macbeth Scott & Co. Independent Insurance Specialists. Welcome to the official video guide to Kendall, one of Cumbria's most picturesque and bustling market towns. Situated in a valley on the banks of the River Kent, Kendall is also known to many as the gateway to the lakes, and of course the home of the world famous Kendall Mint Cake. But Kendall, or Kirby Kendall as it was anciently known, has a most interesting history. We called into Kendall Museum to find out more. Well, Kendall did have uh, people here from prehistoric times, we think. Probably because it had a, it's a nice valley with a river running through, so that's where people settled. And then the Romans came and they set up a fort here in the south end of Kendall. So that would have encouraged people to set up a town here as well. Then the Norse came. We know that they were very involved in Kendall and a lot of the street names in Kendall are Norse. So, Kendall itself has a very long history. This is one of the oldest museums in the country. Uh, the original collection was set up in the 1790s and it's grown from that really. It has a huge variety of uh, artefacts and uh, animals that we've collected over the last 200 years. The Kendall Story exhibition was created uh, some years ago, largely by the Civic Society. We do a lot of research into Kendall. And then it was um, kind of reformed so that it could make an exhibition here at the museum. And so the, the Kendall story follows the story of Kendall from prehistory, the earliest finds here, right through from when the Romans were here, medieval Kendall, the castles, um, Kendall Castle itself, which the Parr family owned, uh, right through the exciting 18th century when this museum was founded and uh, the formation of the yards. Well, the museum itself is, is open free to everyone. So we're really trying to get it as a place where people can pop in, don't feel that they have to kind of get their money's worth for three hours, but can pop in and then come back another time. For those looking for an overnight stay in Kendall or nearby Windermere and Bournes, there are a large array of hotels and unique guest houses. Recommended among the Kendall Base hotels is the Riverside Hotel and the Castle Green Hotel. Sat alongside the banks of the River Kent in Kendall Town Centre is the Riverside Hotel. Now we've done a lot of work here at the hotel in the past couple of years. Um, we've refurbished all of our bedrooms up to a four star standard. We've redone out our dining room. We've got a great leisure centre that's going from strength to strength and we've worked really hard with the staff to get the training levels up to a high standard. And we've also built this fantastic balcony that you can see here in the sunshine. Benefiting from a recent refurbishment and a hillside position, the Castle Green Hotel offers panoramic views towards Kendall Castle and the Fells. For a traditional guest house with a historical twist, Collinfield Manor is worth a visit. This 17th century manor house has an air of grandeur, but is also cosy and welcoming, with a wealth of original features that retain its medieval character. Said to be previously owned by the famous Catherine Parr, Collinfield Manor has been dubbed one of the most perfect manor houses in the country. As the third largest town in Cumbria, Kendall Town Centre serves more than 25,000 residents and has a fine array of high street shops. But if it's real character that you want, it's worth a walk off the high street to enjoy one of Kendall's many unique yards. Perfectly positioned alongside booths in Wainwright's yard is Armstrong Ward. <laughs> At Armstrong Ward we have everything from children's toys to Emma Bridgewater pottery to bedding to bespoke furniture and interior accessories. We're now in our sixth year um, and the time has gone in a flash um, and over the summer we've been busy expanding into another floor within the building and we've now been able to add a little tea and cakes room um, and we also added Wesley Barrel furniture and other elements of interiors too. 
I think what we aim to be and what we hope sets us apart is as well as having a beautiful array of hand-selected, high-quality goods, we really hope that it's our customer service and the way that we interact with customers that sets them apart. Customers are absolutely paramount to us. We listen to them every single day and we revise what we do and change what we do based on their, their feedback, their wants, their, their desires. One of the largest parking areas, perfectly situated for town centre shopping, is that that leads into the Westmoreland Shopping Centre. I'm Martin Pickering, I'm the centre manager at Westmoreland Shopping Centre in Strickland Gate, Kendall. Westmoreland Shopping Centre is situated in the centre of Kendall. The shopping centre itself has a turnover between four and five million people per annum and there's a vast cross-section of people coming into the shopping centre from our regulars to the visitor that comes along in the summer. Westland Shopping Centre is a mixture of shops, from the small independents to the large multiples, which uh, you can see in most towns within the country. The um, shopping centre was originally built in 1988, and it combined and joined to what is now the indoor market. Westmoreland Shopping Centre is a safe environment in which to shop. It's a very pleasant, airy centre to be in. Kendall is famous for its mint cake, and we went along to one of its main manufacturers to find out how it's made. Romney's Kendall Mint Cake Factory was established in 1936 and has remained a small family business ever since. John Barron tells us more about the origins of mint cake. Harry Wipers was, was the uh, first mint cake uh, made, and obviously it was made in Kendall, so that's why it was called Kendall Mint Cake. We were also trying to make a different type of uh, a mint, but uh, it came out as, a, as, as Kendall Mint Cake. Mint cake is still made in traditional copper pans on gas boilers. Glucose, water and sugar are boiled together before being transferred to smaller copper pans. After cooling for several minutes, half an ounce of oil of peppermint is added to every 40 pounds of mix. The blend is then poured by hand into shallow trays where it's allowed to harden. Next the cake is broken up into different bar sizes and rapidly transferred from the sugar boiling room for wrapping. Romney's Kendall Mint Cake is most famous for being used by Sir Edmund Hillary during the first successful expedition to the summit of Mount Everest and is now commonly used by walkers and outdoor enthusiasts, particularly around the Lake District. Kendall Mint Cake it, it has become famous to Kendall. The word mint, uh, you know, it, it's, it's quite a famous thing now. Let's say we have the Mint Fest. Uh, we're actually based on Mint's Feet Trading Estates, you know, so it's taken that name, you know, and Kendall, you know, has become synonymous with, with that. The mint cake comes in several varieties, including chocolate coated, brown sugar, extra strong, and of course the most popular original flavour. Romneys also make other confectionery, including various flavours of fudge, treacle toffee and hard-boiled sweets. But they will always be best known for their original Kendall Mint Cake. Just across from Wainwright's Yard and off the Market Square is a real treat for shopaholics, the famous 1657 Chocolate House. My, my name is Gavin Lowe and this is my partner Joan Preston. And we are, uh, New owners of the 1657 Chocolate House, uh, based in Kendall, in Cumbria. The, the actual building here dates back to the 1630s. The name comes from where chocolate was introduced into Britain in the um, 1650s. We also do like snacks and 
a variety of different cakes. And then downstairs we have the um, chocolate shop where you can enjoy a selection of loose chocolates. We get them in boxes, we have our own. You can make up your own gift box where you choose your own selection. We put in a bow, uh, make them all very personalised, they're all individual. We have approximately 60 different kinds of chocolate, um, loose chocolates you can buy. Uh, we're always trying to push the boundaries and always looking for something new that nobody else actually has. Soft Burnt Caramel actually uh, outsells most of our other chocolates by three to one. It's not the brightest of looking chocolates, but it's absolutely delicious and will guarantee an explosion um, of flavour into your mouth. What we try and encourage is obviously people to come into the building. The, the staff are always very, very friendly. We'll make it feel as homely as possible for you. Also situated in the historic Kendall Market Square is Relish Deli. Bringing the best of the area's produce together inside freshly baked baguettes, jacket potatoes, a homemade chilli and fillings among other popular choices. Diners can use the comfortable interior and while away some time with a drink and a bite or simply grab lunch on the go. Whatever your choice, Relish Deli is a cafe that has established itself as a firm favourite for visitors and locals alike. For many visitors to the Lake District, fish and chips is a must. Whether it's takeaway, a quick lunch with friends inside or out, or a finer dining experience with an array of wines, Fish Express appeals across the board. Fish and chips served with mushy peas and tartar sauce is a firm favourite, but there are also vegetarian options and a variety of different fish on the menu. Based in one of the most picturesque parts of the town centre, alongside the River Kent, is the Waterside Cafe. The Waterside Cafe is a vegetarian and vegan cafe and restaurant. I've been here for 14 years, uh, but the cafe itself has been open for over 30 years. We are the oldest vegetarian cafe in Kendal. You don't have to be vegetarian to enjoy the food. Loads of our customers are not vegetarian. It's just food without meat. And uh, we use all the spices and, and herbs in our cooking, but we also sell them. People can buy any amount that they would like rather than little packets. Everything that we cook here, you can take away in boxes, hot or cold. Lovely, colorful salads, quiches, anything. It's beautiful sitting by the river, especially when the sun shines. You have a lovely view over the bridge and Benson's Knot. It's even nice when it's raining. 